We are back, and we're joined on the phone by the one and only Terry Cahill. You might remember him from the film FUBAR. Terry, how you doing today? Oh, hey, Dustin, it's Terry. Terry, how you doing today? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Sorry, I had to get some quarters for the payphone. No, that's all right. I appreciate you calling me. Thank you. Oh, no problem at all. How's it going down in Minnesota? Uh, not too bad. It's uh, probably not too uh, different than up there in Canada, I assume. Oh, well, it's a big country, so you never know. But yeah, we're in Alberta here. It's a little snowy for sure. Well, Terry, I know you got a lot of stuff going on, but I wanted to first ask you um, about your FUBAR blogcast. I've been uh, watching the last couple episodes of that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I just figured out, like, you know, because COVID sort of everyone's hunkered down and you can't get out too much. I might as well start, like, you know, just connecting with folks regularly on YouTube. Well, you're a channel, uh, Terry's Tube. I mean, that's a must for for fans of you. Uh, I I particularly love the stuff uh, you're doing with Bret Hart, um, driving him around. Oh, thanks. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's been really good to me. Like, you know, sometimes I've been down on my luck and Bret's like, okay, Terry, I'll give you odd jobs here and there. I haven't seen him in a while because of COVID, but yeah, like, I, you know, even one time in the summer, he's letting me swim in his pool there. So I do appreciate Bret for sure. Well, how do you hook up with uh, with Bret Hart or, you know, some of these guys that I see you hanging around with uh, on your uh, channel? Is it just, uh, you know, all the Canadians are sticking together? Or? Well, no, you know, it was kind of a, just a matter of chance. Like, I, I met uh, this DJ from one of the local stations, probably a bit like you, you know, he and he, he knew, knows sort of like people in town. So there was this DJ from a, a station in Calgary called CJ92, and he, I guess he's known Bret for years, and... So I was just sort of hanging around him and he, he's like, he brought me over because Brett has like a little tournament there every year with uh, table hockey. He's got a whole bunch of vintage table hockeys. And so I, I got invited to that just by chance, really. Well, and I saw you hanging out with the uh, the guys from Trailer Park Boys uh, recently here as well. It was probably a matter of time before you wound up hanging around with those guys. Yeah, no kidding. Like, yeah, I mean, I, it's funny because like we were kind of working on like similar things at the same time, but didn't know each other, if that makes sense. Like way back in the two thousands is when, you know, they first, the first documentary crew followed me and that's exactly when the documentary crew was following them. So it was just a matter of time, you know, but you know, I was out East and then luckily I'm out now, but I had to spend some time in the Sunnyvale correctional facility with those guys. Yeah. I saw the, uh, the episodes they made of that over on the swear net uh, will we see you uh, maybe with those guys uh, outside of jail, hanging out maybe at the trailer park? Or? Oh, I hope so. Like, that's how I met them. I did, like, they do this sort of talk show, Park After Dark, and I, that's how I met them, and it was in Ricky's trailer. So I have spent a bit of time there. It's so definitely more fun than jail. Like, jail's been kind of a, it was sort of a struggle, but I'm glad to be out. But, yeah, I'm certainly hoping, I'm all, I'm all honestly just hoping I can take out Bubbles. Like, he's got that little go-kart. Like, that would be a lifelong dream of mine, pretty much. <laughs> well terry you mentioned canada obviously is a very big place but uh, can you kind of describe uh, for the listeners out there maybe if they're not from uh, you know up around the midwest or uh, up in the great white north there what uh, you know what it means and what it's like to kind of be a canadian because i'm guessing maybe they get the wrong idea from seeing you know trailer park boys and, and some of these things that kind of shine a different light on it yeah, no, like, uh, there's there's certain Canadians that are sort of, like, a little more trouble, like me and the, the Trailer Park Boys, and, like, I'm, I don't know if you've heard a long time ago, like, Bob and Doug, or, like, Wayne's World, like, that guy who plays uh, Wayne, he's a Canadian, too, so, like, you know, there's those kind of Canadians, but then there's, like, probably the more average Canadians, and they're just generally, like, really friendly people, and they always, like, sometimes it's awkward because they're like, no, you go first. No, you go first. I'll hold the door. And like when people aren't from here, they're like, wow, why are they so nice? But <laughs> it's kind of just like in our, in our blood, we can't help ourselves. Like it's, you know, like people who uh, come up here and like cars stop at the road. Like as soon as you get near the uh, edge of the curb, there a car will stop if you're not ready and you'll be like, what's going on here? You know, whereas some cities it's like, fuck that, but you know, like, Oh, I don't know if I should swear on the radio. Sorry there, bud. but <laughs> some right. cities, some cities like the cars don't stop, you know, and that's just the way it is. But up here in Canada, usually like if you get near that corner, they'll hit the brakes and let you through. It's just, I don't really know where it comes from, but uh, that's just how we are up here. And, you know, I, I'd like to say we're pretty similar to you, to our neighbors. Like you're our closest neighbors and there's a lot of things like we do. We like to give her and drink beer and, you know, rock and roll and all that stuff. We're not that different. We're just like, 
I don't know, maybe we're like a small town version of some of you guys, you know, like we're, we're a smaller country. We don't have as much, like as much population and, and we're a little further spread out, if you know what I mean. So I guess we're kind of like your small town cousins. <laughs> well, of course, uh, you know, all that stuff is documented in the FUBAR movies. Uh, can you talk a bit about those? I mean, cause uh, a lot of people uh, yeah. are big fans of the movies. Uh, what is that for you? You know, kind of being followed around by these camera crews. Yeah. You know, at first I was pretty excited. I was like, Oh, they're going to follow us on the crew. They're like call, follow us around. And then, you know, eventually like some of it's like, you know, like they, you know, I had like a couple $20 bills in my wallet. Like I was doing okay. They didn't show that part of the movie, you know, like sometimes they made us look a little, little worse for wear, you know, but that's just the way you know, Hollywood is, you know, they kind of adapt it a little bit, but it's been great. Like ever since that movie was, was made or that documentary is made, like now I can go into a bar and people are like, Hey Tara, I'll buy you a beer. So that's pretty much been the number one thing since that happened. Like, it was a while ago. It was almost like 15, 20 years ago. So I've been getting free beers since. So like, I'm never going to complain about what happened there. Like, you know, and I do miss Farrell every time I watch them, like, well, well, that's what happened to Farrell there. So if you haven't seen it, like, you know, wait for that part. Well, I imagine you must be getting recognized everywhere you're going now because of those movies. Yeah. Sometimes like a little more when they're playing on the TV, you know, cause then it's like, I'm kind of, my face is in, like their recent memory, you know, Oh, where did I recognize you from? Oh, that thing that was just on TV. Like, so, you know, sometimes it doesn't play and then it'll be back on again. So like whenever it's on the TV, then I'm like out there at the bar a bit more. Well, not now because of COVID, but I'm out, out and about more like whenever it's on the TV. Cause then people are like, Hey, I just seen you there, bud. So, and now that the internet's out there, it's true. I'm getting recognized more often. And, and actually I've been getting a lot of messages, like email messages from Americans. Cause like, our movies are now available. Like it hasn't really been that easy to find in the United States, but now it's on uh, Amazon prime and like Tubi and Roku. So you can go find it. Like Tubi is actually free. Like you just, you don't even have to log in. You can just start watching the movie. So, so since then I've been getting a lot of like emails from Americans saying, Hey, Tara, right on. I like your stuff and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. And again, uh, you could see everything you're up to uh, over on uh, Terry's tube on YouTube. How is it uh, your relationship with Diener these days? Are you guys uh, still hanging out much? Yeah, well, not so much because we're like sort of in separate parts of the country. You know what I mean? And like he's on the East Coast or East Side. I'm on the West. So I don't see him that often. You know what I mean? And and plus, I've been sort of busy giving her like for the Calgary Flames. Like he's an Edmonton Oilers fan now. So it's like, you know, it's like we're, we're you know, if I seen it, it would be like no time has passed, if that makes sense. Like we know each other really well. But sure. like lately... It's just our our paths don't seem to be crossing. And, you know, that's okay, too. You know, like I gave her with Dean a whole, a whole lot. So, you know, I'm sure I'll see him down the road. Well, I know you guys had the TV show out uh, about you guys not too long ago. Could we see maybe another movie? Or do you think the crew will be following you around once uh, this COVID stuff is out of here? I think so. Like, I'm definitely, you know, working on some stuff. I got some ideas and like I said, yeah, COVID really sort of screwed us up a bit, slowed everything down. But, you know, nothing's impossible is what I say. Like, you know, definitely like, you know, I, I, I ain't a spring chicken, but like I ain't a water, like old raisin just yet. So I'd, I'd, I'd keep your ear to the ground because I'm definitely going to be cranking out some more stuff for sure. Well, I know you guys uh, just had the uh, the game out as well, uh, FUBAR, just give her. So, I mean, uh, the fans uh, of you and Diener obviously uh, still got some uh, new stuff out there to check out. For sure, for sure. There's lots out there, actually. Like, there's, yeah, like you said, there's the Agent Computer, which is a little hard to find. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get them to be like, here, Terry, you can load it on YouTube or something, because there's only the one episode. Otherwise, it's on. It's a bit hard to find in America, Agent Computer. But the mobile game is you just download it and give her on it right away. Like, you click, and there's great little storylines in there. Like, you know, me and Dean are on adventures that you can, like, as you play the game, it's kind of like a new chapter, sort of. So, I, I think if you're looking for some quick given or you know i'd have hit up the playfubar.com for sure like to download that game awesome well terry i, I want to ask you um your advice i guess your thoughts on uh, metal bands from canada i know you guys worked with thor and you know i've got helix yeah. anvil obviously where's the best place for the listeners maybe to start to you know if they need an education and and canadian heavy music yeah i'd say anvil you, you hit the you hit the hammer right on the head so to speak or you hit the hammer right on the anvil that that's pretty much your go-to like <laughs> You know, I, I, you just said it there, Helix for sure. Um, you know, like, uh, there's a newer band that I really like. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're called Monster Truck. 
and they're a Canadian band. They're younger guys, but they they give her like they're they're called Monster Truck, and uh, like they toured with like Nickelback. Well, Nickelback's like the classic Canadian band that most Americans would have heard of, and some people don't like them, and some people do because they're kind of not that heavy and all that. But you know that you can't say a popular Canadian band and not mention Nickelback. Sure. Because, you know, they're huge. They're huge. But they're not like metal, like what you're asking me, but I just feel sort of obligated to mention them because, you know, they're like the, a global band that, that are from Canada. Well, and of course, see, you guys worked with uh, Thor and John Michael Thor. I remember he had the music video for FUBAR out. Yeah, FUBAR is a super rocker. He's he's a real special human. Like, he could do all those tricks, like bending steel with his teeth and blowing up water uh, hot water bottles, like... And he's from a special time, like back in the heyday of, of rock, sort of. So anytime I could spend a few minutes with Thor was just a treasure, real real special time, you know? Like, I haven't seen him in a while. I should reach out to Thor and just check in on him there. I, I, I haven't seen him around in a while. But yeah, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm trying to think of the other, like, uh, metal bands. Like, I usually just follow the metal. I don't really care which country he's from. Like, you know, I, I've been listening to the new ACDC album. I'm pretty happy with it. And I always flip back to the old stuff, too. Like, if you have to ask my favorite song, it's probably going to be Riff Raff by ACDC. I don't know if you heard that one. Oh, definitely. Definitely. That's my top track. Like, I could listen to that I- infinitely on, like, if I was stuck on a desert island and I could only have one track, it would be that one. <laughs> well, Terry, I know you've got the uh, FUBAR blogcast and Terry's Tube. Is there anything else maybe in the works or something else that we should be looking out for? Uh, you know, like, you know how it works with like film and TV. It takes a while. Right. But, uh, we are working on a, uh, like a, a cartoon sort of series. So, but those okay. take a long time to draw. Like you got to draw like whatever, like 15 pictures for every second or something. So it's going to be a little while, but that's cooking. And then, uh, like I said, as soon as COVID opens up, me and Brett were working on a, a thing. Like I was going to maybe try to work on his house and, and sort of hang around with him a bit more. I'm hoping to. Yeah, and I'm hoping the Calgary Flames do well this year because, you know, the better they do, the more they're like, Terry, you got to give her for us. So I kind of got my fingers crossed for the Calgary Flames. Awesome, man. I'm a big fan of yours, and uh, it's great that you're still out there and we're able to uh, catch everything on your YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for your time, Terry. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure, and I'll be up on Thursday. So we'll see you then, I hope. <laughs> All right, I'll be looking for you. Okay, give her, buddy. Ow! Right on, right on. See you later. All right, thanks, Terry. Yeah, bye. And again, that was the one and only Terry Cahill from FUBAR. And again, you can check out the FUBAR blogcast and everything else he's got coming up here on his YouTube channel, Terry's Tube.